This story is about a new trend in robotics. I'm talking about cobots. They have revolutionized the world of automation. They can help address labor shortage and improve productivity. Here is more. What you see on your screen are cobots, collaborative robots that are designed to work alongside humans. They pick, lift, and carry. And now they have a new place to call home. Odense, Denmark's third largest city. It now houses what is said to be the world's first cobot hub. The 20,000 square meter, 45 million dollar facility serves as headquarters for Danish robotics firms, Universal Robots and Mobile Industrial Robots. Both companies are owned by Boston-based automation company Teradyne, which is hoping to capitalize on a growing demand for collaborative robots in various industries such as logistics, pharmaceutical, food, beverage, and more. If you go back on where we started, obviously the most mature industries in automation were the first ones to get started, also with collaborative robots or cobots, like the automotive industry. But what we're seeing over the last, especially the last couple of years, you've seen pharmaceuticals companies really leaning into robotics. You've seen uh, food and beverage companies really leaning into robotics. And logistics is a big one. Uh, logistics is growing in general as an industry because we like to order stuff from home <laughs> that we need to get delivered. So how are those industries automating their businesses as well? So we're seeing the need for automation in pretty much every industry out there. A new dimension to cobots is that AI is now intelligently powering them. Universal Robots is collaborating with industry giants to bring AI into cobots. This is one such AI-generated quality inspection robot. The robot moves around to a number of, of uh, electronics components. Quality is showing that all the components are there, but all the motions in between is fully generated by AI. So it knows, it calculates where to go, it calculates to avoid any obstacles in the workspace. So everything is run fully automatically. Odansa is now considered one of Europe's main robotics hubs with more than 160 companies. It's a milestone. It's a big milestone, I would say, for cobots in general, but a big milestone for Danish robotics. First of all, it's the first, as you said, in the world, this cobot hub, innovation, technology, collaboration, but also that we as an ecosystem are capable of keeping our big industries within the country. That's also a big milestone. The future of cobots is promising. It's believed that advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning are set to expand their capabilities and applications further.